got uh, November 18th, getting this one bait set up. Put some bait here the other day, so we have a bit of a crossroads. You can see one trail here, one trail there. They kind of kick off. Here's another one. This coyote or coyote's been coming through. And there's another solid trail there. That way, they also kick off into here. I've trapped this area for quite a few years and up here, there's awesome pinch points and I always catch coyotes there. And I'm gonna change my pinch point here. It used to be right there, but they got wise to it. And I'm gonna make a trail right beside this big tree. I'm setting my power ram up and we'll see how this spot is. So again, I'm just walking it out. They made the trails already, so I know where they're gonna, gonna go. I'm gonna put minimum of four snares here just to get started. You can see they've been scratching and chewing on hides that I left here. So I'm gonna set up and get this place going. This place is always good for uh, close to a dozen coyotes. It's got a big draw in the area, um, kind of a clump of bush and lots of things filter in and nice and tight stuff for snare. If I see anything else exciting, I'll show you, show you it. And if not, I might show you a couple done snares there, but time to get busy. Okay, coming to one of my spots here. Looks like I had a refusal and I stopped at another bait there and I think it's an old timer coyote. It, uh, it's been around there in my spots a few times. Every time it came to my trail, it went back into the bush and then made a new trail and then come up to a different trail close to the, close to the, my snare line and then he'd back away. So what I'm gonna do here is just make a little trail in. Looks like there's some weasel tracks here. And I had a snare here. Just put my hood up. Let's go in and see what we got here. If anything. Oh, There's one sitting there. The snare was right here. And there's another set of tracks through. So since the snow, let's see what this one looks like here. Not too bad. I'll uh, remake this because I know there's a coyote going through the exact same spot since the snow, which was a day ago. And uh, yeah, we'll throw it in the back of the truck and carry on. Well, let's see what's going on here. We got tracks coming up to the spot. See, my snare's gone. Got another snare there. When I set this up, there wasn't really any snow. I was just kind of going off feeling where there's a bit of sign. Oh, got to duck down. Another coyote came and went. Took a look here and came back around from the other side and did a sniff. So we'll see what we got here. Looks like a nice big Coyote, well furred. We'll set, reset this one. Just look what there is for tracks around here. There we go. Not bad too at this site. A uh, couple more snares to check and we'll see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna do it up here. Well, I came into my snare here and I got myself another nice coyote. It was underneath the snow, so it tells me it was probably caught a day ago because we got snow last night and during the day yesterday. It did disturb my area a little bit, but uh, I can remake this pretty easy. 
and yeah looking pretty promising because we've got other coyote tracks after the snow checking this one out as well so they're gonna get smart but I'm picking off the dumb ones and uh carry on from there minus 15 today a little cool and yeah we'll carry on all righty well i'm running out of snares here further back where i was i set pretty heavy and then i thought oh, i'll wait till after the snow and see which other trails pop up so you can see there's some activity going on through here and here we go here's my coyote damn birds put a little hole right by its butt but not a a big deal it's actually a pretty nice coyote so what i'm going to do is remake it and put my snare right back there i think there's another three or four snares i gotta check so we're not doing too bad so far all right we're having a good run here see my snares gone and i got some other tracks in the snow and i didn't set everything the other day which was sunday i came through i set these i'm gonna get some more rams and all the fresh trails now I'm, I'm gonna freshen those up and put my snares on there nice thick area here uh it's good for that but let's look where these tracks came up and then they turned around it looks like there's a coyote back there let's step around and see what we can do so there he is or she I'm gonna pull it out and I'll take a picture out on the on the trail here just so we can see a little bit better. It's pretty thick. But uh, fresh coyote tracks in there. The rib cage that they were chewing on right there. Still lots here. We're gonna have to step up our game. All right. So we came in here kind of the other end and we have had a trail through here my snare is just up here and it looks like we got a coyote this one doesn't look the best already looks like it might have mites in the shoulders yeah it's got shoulder mites so we'll get rid of them We'll put our snare back where it goes and I have another snare just in here I gotta go track her down but uh, once I find it I'll video if we got anything there just rolling up to one of my newer baits and uh, sand looks pretty good back here a little ways there's just two trails where they went in but they're staying in my truck tracks so I have to find a way to get them back in the bush but once I get close to the bait we'll see what's going on well we got a ribbon and there's some activity on this trail here two different trails coming together and my snare's still there let's see what's going on like I said this is a, a new spot so I just still have to figure it out so it looks like I just missed it a bit so I'll move that there lift that up a bit pass through once the snow a little bit so we got some coyotes here all fresh sign I got some snares this way the bait is that way the bait's half gone so the birds have been on it I thought I was going to bust some coyotes out of here. And here I have another 
snare trail. Oh, I see some disturbance here. Looks like a, a decent little pup coyote. I'll remake this one and I got a couple more snares that way. See you in a bit. My last snare here. And this one, oh, he's knocked it down a little bit. Or the snow knocked the trees down. And it looks like the coyote dodged the snare. So I'll walk through it. And I see another trail. So I'll let them pound their trails down a little bit more. And then I'll come here and set up a little bit better. So I'll just don't really have to fence it in too much. Now that I got snow, I'll just put one, one stick like that, lean it over a bit, and drop the snare. Okay, I'll step over it and then drag my feet out to make a nice, good, solid trail. And that's what it looks like. So that'll free solid here. And snow is nice and fluffy, so that'll make a good base. I think I should start using that. All right, uh, two more spots to check. One doesn't have any snares, but I'm just gonna go check and see what it looks like. And the other one's got snares. Catch you in a bit. Here's today's catch. Had one with shoulder mites. Um, so I didn't uh, put it in the group here. Uh, one of these ones here is another one I had caught, the very first one there, out at one bait. So I just traded it out with the shoulder mite one. And I'll show you guys in a video there, the Fur Buyer series on shoulder mites and why there's no value there for us. Anyways, um, seven coyotes isn't bad. One little pup here, the rest are all big. Uh, I think there's one female in there and the rest are males. And yeah, we'll skin them up in a couple days and take a look at the leather and I'll show you that and what to look for there as well in the fur buyer series. Try and give you guys some education on, on primeness of pelts and what we're looking for so you get the best bang for your buck. Anyways, uh, dropped these guys off and then I went out for a quick elk hunt and an elk came out about 380 yards roughly and I had one minute of legal light and by the time I got all set up, she was past legal aid, so maybe we'll try that again tomorrow and see if we're successful. Anyways, we'll catch you at the next set. Well, we're out here, it's Friday night, and I got my chauffeur with me, my good luck charm. So hopefully we go out and check a few baits and make some catches. And yeah, so it's gonna be a dark check because it's after work and it's dark about well, five, 10 after five now actually. So we're gonna go in and see what we see and hopefully there's a few things to show you. But we're gonna hit probably three or four baits tonight and then freeze me up for a bit of elk hunting Saturday morning. And we'll just catch you the next set here. So just coming into the first snare there, and it was here. And it looks like we have a catch over there. I'll check the other snares. In a second here, I'm just looking around a bit. Okay, go back this way here. Birds have been back and steady. Chunk of baits over there. Lots of coyote tracks and my tracks. And this is the one where they always like to 
go around this snare so I moved it further back and I can see nothing's gone through it now we'll go into the bush or one more spot here Got my way through here. Oh, those bird tracks, coyote tracks, and that snare's missing. Okay, back under that. And coyote number two here. Looks like a nice pale one. Check one more spot. Oh. They still make grunting noises when I bend over and get willows in the face. All right, I'll bring you guys with me for this little walk just to show you that. Some more Caillou tracks here. Just to show you that it's uh, all kind of live. Kai tracks on my trail here where I walked in. Just gonna pan over here. There used to be a trail last year where they used to go through, but they're not going through there this year yet. Snow's not deep enough. There's wheel tracks there. I should bring a weasel box. Coyote tracks here. And nothing in my snare there. Thought we were gonna get a bit of snow and my tracks stand out pretty good. Go over here. And this was always a good spot here. Let's see if it's a good spot this year. So the coyotes came down this trail. Which says they might have gone around this one. So what do we got here? So there's Caillou tracks on the other side. So it came up to the snare. And then went around over this way. So what we did last year. Once the snow got deeper, we put a snare here. And we'll keep this option going. But I like this spot here. But they just went around it. Once they get more bait here, the kites will be in there a lot tougher, thicker. And there's all kinds of trails back in there. But I'm slowly working my way there with the snares I got. But anyways, two is better than none. Take a look at this trail here. Hard for you guys to see, sorry. But she's pounded. So I'm gonna go back there. Maybe this weekend once I get bait. I'll come set another four snares here. But two out of four isn't bad. And look like good kites. Alright, I'm going to remake these. And then we will see you guys at the next bait. Well, that wasn't too bad of a check. We seen there was four snares and three, or sorry, two coyotes. And there was some other ones running around there. So I'm thinking next time we come through, put a few more snares in, close the gaps, and carry on. But, uh, yeah. What, uh, what I'll show you guys there, the next bait, is how I hold my flashlight so I can see when I'm working with my hands through the power rams. And I thought, thought about that after, and I didn't want to slow things down anymore and, and uh, burn up a bunch of time. Anyways, I'll show you the next bait and go from there okay 
we're at a different bait there so i forgot we're going to start naming the baits so the one we were at before is glenn's bait this one here is going to be the strip again and glenn's bait i started another one at a different spot we'll call that g2 and glenn's will be glenn's all right and we're going to go into the strip here and see if we got any catches Okay, it's Saturday morning here. I'm just gonna go get set up and see if some elk come out. If not, we'll give it an hour after legal light, maybe a little bit longer, see what the activity's like. And then we will go and check our, our baits. Uh, we checked part of them last night and I was getting low on snares. So I'm gonna have to make a bunch today and maybe we'll show you guys how I do that. And I gotta skin those coyotes today. Don't know if I'll board them or just uh, take them off the carcass and roll them up and get to them later still like to get this elk Taken care of and get one here. So I don't want to set the shop up take it all down just for uh, A little couple days of butchering and hanging there. Anyways, we're gonna carry on and see what we get Why couldn't that be a big buck? Little fawns are still in the bush there. Watching what's going on with Mama. They say, oh look, she made it. Well, I've had a uh, pretty dry run here today. And I checked a couple baits, nothing. So I didn't bother videoing. And then now over at Mike's, we got a catch. So we'll go in here, check it out. Try to take big steps so nothing follows my track. Looks like a nice fur coyote. I think it came this way here. There's a, a bone here that was further up this trail. It was actually about here where they kept chewing on it. So I just kicked it off over there and we got ourselves a nice coyote. Didn't disturb the area really. So I'll remake it and go check the other snares. There's one I drove by, there wasn't nothing there. And there's another three here, so we'll see what happens. And I got a roadkill deer to put out. And uh, hopefully we connect here. So my other spot was right here. I see the snare's gone. And no coyote tracks on this side. But, Coyote tracks on that side, and there's our coyote. Had it right here for the jump over, and it was just set just before. Looks like another nicely furred coyote. Nice catch. We're starting to roll now. Like I said, I got the bait here. I had a little bit here, just on and off. So I got piles, what I dropped off last time. And I brought them in. There's a cattle farm about a mile away. You can hear them bellering. I know the farmer there. I'm going to give him a call and see if I can go trap over there. 
because I know there's lots of coyotes there. So there's no fresh tracks in this trail here, but the coyote did come over here and come and check out this guy. So it tells me there's at least another coyote running around. But I'll get this guy out and remake the set and go check the other snares. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like. So there's a trail with a jump over. Give enough room so that they can get their feet underneath. And then I just use the anchor to hold her to a branch and blend her in a little bit. So when we're looking down like this, you got lots of room if they jump, but you're still gonna get a nice head catch for them. And that's all I had. Nice natural pinch point here between these two sticks. And bingo bango. Okay, we're gonna try and check the other spots here. So here's my Caillou trail. And then I come here and looks like I had something big. I'm thinking it's a deer and my power ram worked the way it's supposed to with the later cable. The animal moved around a bit and then the cable broke and released it. And I think it took off that way because over here is just coyote tracks. Yeah, it looks like deer tracks here and then maybe went off that way. Anyways, worked out. We didn't have a deer. Don't have to worry about that. See a heavy, heavy coyote trail over there. Have to figure that one out where it's going through. But looks promising. Okay, so there's three coyotes in the truck there. Uh, didn't video that last catch, which is this one here. It uh, had it to load up in the truck and I drove ahead and I thought, oh shit, there's one more snare. Okay, I checked my book there. One more snare that I put in late the last time and had a catch, but I left the phone in the truck. So we got it all taken care of. I unloaded my near deer roadkill. So that should last a little bit. Lots of sign here. I'll come back out on Monday. It's Saturday right now. I got Monday off and I'll come and I'll set up a bit more. I need to get more power rams, snares and everything else set up there. Falling behind already. All right, we will catch you guys at the next set.